Hello beer tours and welcome to yet another beer review with me Peter the Master of Hobbits. Today looking at yet another beer sent to me from the guys at Sundicado, so thanks to you guys for the beer. Um, this is their Pilsner, a hoppy Pilsner made with American hops, uh, called Precise Pilsner, or Kesemistan Precis Pilsner, which means, uh, uh, how would you say that, that's like the Minister of Finances or something like that, uh, Precise Pilsner. And uh, it's a modern uh, light pilsner. Uh, the alcohol is like on a subtle level, it says, and then it's hopped with like a lot of different New World hops. And uh, it's a great session beer. Um, says enjoy it with your lunch uh, at the football ma match over the hedge with your neighbor or whenever you're thirsty. And uh, yeah, it's brewed with, uh, it says, a, a lot of Amarillo and a lot of Cascade. So that's nice. It's 5.6%, 40 IBUs. So kind of high for a Pilsner, but I'm looking forward to this one. I like when you hop up Pilsner. Like in um, Tools, um, Raid Beer. That was, that was nice. Definitely. It smells like a Pilsner still, though. There, from the cap. Yeah, it's got that huge head. Okay, so we got Casa Mist on board. It almost looks like an IPA or a pale ale, but it's definitely got the carbonation of a Pilsner. Um, it's like a nice, like, golden yellow, almost orange. Yeah, kind of orange, actually, hazy color. A lot of carbonation. Carbonation streaming from the bottom of the glass. Definitely, like, a <laughs> Pilsner carbonation. Three finger, uh, white head on it. Really big, rocky head. It almost looks like a Belgian ale or Saison, but yeah, let's take all your own Okay, Pilsner Malt is the first thing I pick up. That biscuity breadiness and that crisp, clean kind of Pilsner -y aroma. A lot of Pilsner malts. I don't pick that much hop. Uh, uh, pick up that much on the hop character. I mean, I get some of the hoppy notes, but it's not too much. It's got that grassy, citrusy, almost kind of a lemony kind of thing going on. I expected more of an oomph of hops. Smells like a traditional pale pilsner, but with a little more hop qualities. Not intense though. Maybe a touch of orange in there. Mm. It smells pretty solid, but uh, yeah, let's give it a taste. Cheers. Yeah. Wow, that's kind of spicy. That's more spicy than I expected for a hobby lager. Um, again, yeah, it tastes like a lager, for sure. Well, feels light and super effervescent. A lot of carbonation, a lot of biscuity bread malts, a lot of that Pilsner malt, um, some sweet maltiness in there too. Um, kind of a solid bitterness on it as well. Mm, a little bit of that orangey flavor, a little bit of a tangerine kind of thing going on too. But I get a lot of sweet malts here in the back end. Um, maybe a touch too over carbonated for my tastes even in a Pilsner, because it's got so much carbonation. Um, a little bit of a floral note in there too, along with, most it's just grassy, floral, citrusy, and then some orangey kind of flavors. Uh, maybe it needed um, even more hops, and more dry hopping to make it even more, like, hoppy. Um, I think it would. But, it's not the best, uh, like, hoppy Pilsner I've had. One of the best is definitely the uh, Tour Ray beer, which is amazing. Nelson's oven in a lager or Pilsner. Come on, but this is still pretty tasty. Uh, not anything that's really rocking my world there, though, but a really good uh, solid Pilsner. So, rain wise on this one, I'm going to go 75. Uh, good stuff. Definitely worth checking out if you can get Cindy Cabus beers. But if you want one of their hoppy beer, hoppier beers, go for the other one instead, the Ekin which I previously reviewed, which is a little better. Uh, so yeah, guys, uh, definitely let me know what you guys think of the Kassemestan uh, Precis Pilsner, if you've had it from the Cindy Cable. And uh, yeah, as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, and I'm going to say cheers. I'm going to see you guys in another beer review. <laughs>